In this video, we're going to look at the switch function uh, to help solve our problem here. Basically, what we've got to do is work out whether each of our employees have met their sales target. Now, the sales targets are set uh, per area, north, south, then east and west together. And the sales targets are different in different quarters. So it's kind of quite a lot to look up here. So you have to look up both the area and the quarter in the relevant table um, to get the correct sales target. We can then compare it with the sales achieved and say yes or no whether they've met the sales target. Now, the switch function is going to be useful in terms of uh, allowing us to choose the correct table to perform some sort of lookup on. So obviously if it says west, we want to look up on this table north on this table. That's where the switch function is going to uh, become useful. So I'll just show you how the switch function is going to allow us to do that. By the way, the switch function is available in Office 365 and Excel 2016 later and later. So the first argument in the switch function is expression. So this is the variable, the thing that's going to change the thing that you're checking for. So that's going to be the area because the area tells us kind of which table we're going to get our data from, comma. So value one, well, what you've got to do is go through all the possible uh, values that could be included in column uh, B. So it's either going to be west, north, south or east. OK, so we're going to say if it's north now, under this screen tip, if I just move that, you can see I've written north there. I'm going to say, so if value one will be north, and I'm going to say, if it is north, the result for value one will be that we want to look up in this table here. Now I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to fix this, obviously, because I'm going to be copying the formula down. Okay, so then we're on to default or value two. Now we'll come on to default later on. That's going to be useful for east and west. But default of value two, so we're going to say value two is going to be south. So if the value in column B is south, then and we'll need to fix that, obviously. Uh, then we want to look up in this table. OK, comma. Now you could keep going value three, value four, etc., etc., etc. Um, but what we want to do is we want to say if it's not north or south, then we want to pick it up from this table here. We, we haven't got a separate table for east and west. So that's why it says default. So if it isn't, if it isn't um, value one and it isn't value two, then you can set a default. OK, so I'm going to say here, that's the table we want to look at. OK, so I close the bracket, press enter. So on its own, that doesn't make much sense. Uh, it's not going to be able to do much because all it's doing is returning an array of cells. But what we can do with that is we can then use a VLOOKUP. So we can say VLOOKUP. Well, what I want to do is look up the quarter in column C, comma, in one of these tables. Well, this switch function is already going to, already going to choose the table that it's going to look for quarter three or within, comma. So essentially, this is our table array argument. And then we're on to call index number. So that will be two, because we're returning values from the second column in each instance. And we're doing an exact match. So that will be false or zero. Close the bracket. So if I press Enter, and then I copy this down, and you can see hopefully that it has returned the correct sales target. So let's just check if that is true. So I say West quarter three, sales target 89,000. So West quarter three, 89,000. Let's pick out some more. North quarter one, 87,000. North quarter one, 87,000. Let's go to the bottom. South quarter four, 32,000. South quarter four, 32,000. So it has picked out the correct table with the switch function. So. Um, what we will then do is do a little logical test now. So we can say, is the sales achieved greater than or equal to 
the sales target and that will give us our true and falses and then to convert true and falses to something more useful use an if so this becomes our logical test we can say if true yes they have met the sales target otherwise no they haven't so I'll copy that down that's okay so you might be thinking there are other functions that do kind of the same thing uh, there is the index function that will allow you to look up over multiple tables um, and there's the choose function uh, but what's really useful with the switch is this ability to use this default argument here uh, so you're saying if none of the other values are matched you go to this default table that you can look up a value in and that's quite useful and that really isn't available with the choose function or the index function um, not in such a simple way anyway okay so hopefully that's been useful switch function uh, a new function with xr 2016 uh, available only with Office 365 subscription. Uh, thanks very much for watching and hopefully that's been useful.